Oh, wait a minute. Here's Ren. The fight's actually happening. Admiral getting a caught big out. big fight. Absolutely. Where's Mork Mork when you need him? Admiral at one here. Can Ren close this out? Here comes his teammate Aura as well. And Mork Mork, it's a big 2v2. Ren at one. He's going to be pursued. Both players the going to the lower player. One player down. Mork Mork. Aura on his back. Wow, the turnaround for Mork Mork. Is kid. Ren is so low. A hit could do it, but Mork Mork is super low too. Both players are one touch on the Ren Ren. He gets the hit. This tournament is now kicking off. This is a $200 cash cup. All the participants and teams get ready for the fight of your life. Oh, Dr. Dexter, the first one on him. Let's go. I think he, he's already realizing that it's... Oh, uh -oh. And Lydia. Oh, no way. This How did this happen? Oh, this is so big. Chaos Volley this early on to the game? right off of the gate i mean if players don't know this is happening they're gonna miss out on this and we talked about this last tournament look at this dr dexter being really smart using this time to get some wood collected to get the castle heart set up while lydia and alpha wolf are kind of fighting each other and okay. oh we have our first death <laughs> the first death of the tournament is the legendary rat king yeah, this is super dangerous of course alpha wolf is very very easy to dodge so the actual danger here oh the interception on that chaos bolt catching another player that is two lives claimed by lydia she is already a menace to the server and look at the space around alpha wolf normally filled with players trying to do melee damage but now we oh, have another kill another lydia. one <laughs> lydia's got crazy. like four on her belt now this is getting ridiculous at least four i'm sure she killed a couple people off screen as well alpha Will finally going down and Fixie is going to be the last one to jump on that. Any players sneaking up at the last second are going to miss out, and we see the we see all the players scatter. Nobody wants to deal with Lydia at this point. The chaos volley. Admiral's already level twenty. Look at how much more powerful he is than everybody else scattering from there. They could just go take Alpha Wolf whenever they feel like. It's no big deal now. They could just go two v one Alpha Wolf, no problem. And they've already got a base set up. This is a huge play for them. So Admiral and Mulk Mulk are part of the clan Finstag. These are European players who are coming out here and competing on our North American server. They've got some lag, but they're still able to pick up wins. Admiral, as we mentioned earlier, was one of the solo Cash Cup tournament champions. So we're going to be very excited to see what him and Mulk Mulk are able to do. Mulk Mulk, look, this powerhouse of a player now coming along with his level 20 gear. We know Admiral probably isn't far behind. I'm sure he's on the comms with him right now. Like, hey, let Keely's super low, get over here quick. They're going after Lydia for the Chaos Volley. This is big, they, they're gonna be really far ahead. I think they actually this are the dominant huge. team right now. They, I say without a doubt, they're probably the number one team on the server at the moment if they can pick up Lydia here before other players' PvP protection timers were off. They're level 20, you see them gathering gems, so they're going to be going for their Merciless Copper weapon very quickly. T-Gats over here in the mine managed to pick himself up a reinforced bone crossbow, probably just a lucky loot drop from one of the uh, from one of the bandits in the trapper camp, potentially. I don't know if we saw him over there for Keeley, but he's clearing up these uh, ads. All right, so we do see Mulk, Mulk, and Admiral running through here. Whether or not they actually want this kill, we shall see. <laughs> Alpha Wolf making a guest appearance as well. Uh, it sounds like they, yeah, it looks like they want this. I mean, they have... Um, I think Mulk Mulk is running double DPS right now because they have Chaos Volley and Frost Bats. So they're going to probably take out Rufus relatively quickly. And if they get that Blood Rage, like you mentioned, popping that to be able to farm materials faster is a really big boon. It's a 25% attack speed increase. And uh, something a lot of players don't know, actually, is that you can pop Blood Rage and then use the Axe attack skill to get the attack speed bonus. And it will stack. It's only a short window and you have to do it in that order. But it's, it adds up so quickly that you can deforest an entire area in a matter of like a minute. Live. This We're is beautiful. About 30 minutes in. This is, they're going for some sort of little speed run here. They're doing the tier one progression bosses. They're going to have a ton of abilities unlocked. Now Clive has that a uh, chaotic double dash for the space bar, which as we've mentioned is for sure an S tier ability in PVP and PVE. It's going to give you two space bars, and if you've got rogue blood, each of those space bars will be critting when you come out and attack somebody. Sick. Fixie, wow, I'm actually really surprised Fixie didn't attack Admiral right there. Believe there we go, here. Fixie trying to grab a chest and Mulk Mulk punishing him for it. 
We see the Chaos Volley come out early, and I don't know if other players have access to Chaos Volley yet. Mulk, Mulk, and Admiral only had one horse, so now they've got two, and Fixie this it is needs huge. to dismount him here. Good counter, but it's not going to connect. Here comes here Admiral. Comes this is looking so bad for Fixie. Oh, no. Fixie is in so much trouble here. Nice knock there. Nice he gets him both knocked off. Good dodges. <gasps> I don't think it's going to be enough. That's a freeze. The Trapper two pull. Frostbats. When you've got two players with Frostbats, the opportunity to freeze is going to be immense, and that's a three-second stun. Up until you take Ooh. damage, that is the end. Fixie going down. Mulk Mulk yeah, is gatekeeping Mulk Mulk. Fixie out. This, this is, is a great gate gatekeep here, keeping yeah. him at bay. Wait, there's another player and showing up on a horse. Another player. Who is this? Is this Fixie's teammate? It looks like it. They're both green. Yep. Here comes a two versus two with five at 25%. to look very very bad for fixie multiple getting off a ton of chaos volleys and admiral throwing frost bats like it's going out of style they want to gatekeep this team so hard look at how professional admiral and multiple are. They're making an executive decision here to not finish clive until they've attempted to at least kill these players let's see here and there comes he Mulk is Mulk with the Mulk he's coming he's trying let's to stop him the counter is let's he gonna go. get on in time now the frost bat stops him let's fixie go. gets stopped and admiral and multiple are going to claim the only clive on the server this is putting them so far ahead but look at this look at this rat trap as we saw from my rat trap video if any player jumps off of quincy right if you go up to Quincy, you have so many players, and we saw this in the last tournament. Everyone kind of just jumps off to hang out, right? But if you miscalculate here, you are now stuck behind this wall, and all of your loot will have to fall onto the ground when you kill yourself. That is a rat trap. Looks like so we have a fight part. on our hands here. Trapula getting engaged with Misha. They're both equal gear, but Trapula with nice the big counter. advantage right now. The counter into the Shadow Bolt. The Shadow Bolt, huge. Yep. Trapula, this is looking great. Misha needs to turn into a wolf here. Good. Actually, I don't know if that was a good play there. A Shadow Bolt to the back. Misha is absolute right now. The good counter, counter at the end of the space bar. Outplaying left and right. Here comes a tree and. Oh my a, goodness. A bolt to the back. Three for three there for Trapula. So They're both going to drink it. This wait. is not a gate. T Gat's coming in. There's, there's three teams here. Another player on a horse. No way. Coming. Maybelle's going to get it too. He's got it. He's got it. No gatekeeping. Let's see They're the gonna go for T-Gats nice now! Bolt on T-Gats' back, he's gonna chase him down on the horse, a huge hit there. I think we could see T-Gats getting killed. His inventory is probably stacked, look he's yelling out in voice chat, I've got nothing! We see the voice comms coming he's out. He's jumping to voice chat, no please! I haven't made my base yet, that's probably a huge pickup for Dexter. I like this play, well, this is smart. He does have coffers, so I, I, I want to see him fake geese and then come out and pick up- Oh, he's just taking arrows, left and right, uh, this is an arrow on Deathline as well, that's so close. Des is one shot. Let's go ahead and zoom in. There's Frederick. He does. He picks the kill up. Get up the gank. Frederick playing it so close to the chest. Is this his teammate an, showing up? Wolf is coming in. This is A-Town. We, we saw A-Town in here recent, earlier, too, but A-Town had to back off because the, the opponents were too powerful. But oh, He's going for Frederick, but he sees the loot bag. <gasps> picking up the loot. He's got a Frederick gets the well. kill. There's at least two teams sucking on the neck. Jacek is, is going to get it for his teammate. Jacek definitely going to die here, though. There's no way he survives coming off of this. Oh, yeah. Frederick just auto-dying immediately. We're going to see some players dying here. Trapula at 20, Mufo at 5. Keely is going to go actually, down. Actually picking up a kill here. They managed to get Keely in the back, so Fixie doesn't quite make the loop. He's looking for the way. kills. I don't think he gets it. He's no, like, he's looking for the kills. Look at him. He picks one up. That look was that Jacek? He did, yeah, he got one kill. Is this gonna be a re yeah, is this gonna be a revenge? Pixie is just popping off right now. After getting wiped out at Clive, he's got uh you know he's got he wants to take revenge. No, now, Jacek is Jacek, still alive. So a random player is dead. This could turn into a two versus one, I think we're gonna Endo's about to meet his end. <laughs> this is not gonna be good for him. As soon as Ren comes in, that hit. Leaders. Look at that. that hit. Was, he, 20%. Good attempt at frostbat. That's gonna miss. We need a counter. Endo is just getting caught in a corner here. Frostbatted once, the horse lord on his back. So unfortunate. Well. Oh my Brutalized. goodness. The power of these early leaders is growing. Obliterated him. Players are heading up toward level 33, right? I think that's about the maximum for Merciless Night Stalker and a Merciless Copper Weapons. They're, they're progressing to the edge 
of tier one and preparing. Ooh. Here's another fight as well. That was so sneaky. One brain cell tried to use the counter to knock him off the horse and then immediately steal it, but Aura answered back instantly with the Chaos Volley and the Frost Bats going in with the hammer, sk hammer skill with Q trying to connect to stop him and I slow him down. I don't think brain cell realizes that there's two players here, so he's he's facing off what looks like one versus two against tournament champions. Oh, he's no. Chaos Volley's to the head. He's at 10%. That's yeah, he's... so bad for him. If he stays, this is ultra greed. He, he needs a reset. Absolutely. You've got the other player in wolf form searching for him. Oh, Here problem shows team. up. It's problem. Picking up a big hit already. Walked into the explosive. Oh, oh, problem oh, just lost half. Here. Look, it probably just lost half his health instantly. Dodging Aura and Ren refocusing. Problem is trying to use his Q and his space bar to get away. He needs to turn into a wolf. Can he get out? I'm not mistaken, four teams fighting over this. And Aura. Aura. One shot. Nice jump off the cliff there. Problem going to pursue a big hit on the horse. This is big. Again, the, the next hit's going to kill him. Enough. He's got no counter. The Chaos Volley and Frost Bat double offensive means players can pressure you on the horse as much as they want. The other thing is you can use Clive to your advantage. You know, if you're luring him into the fight and the other players jump into it, they can take a lot of explosive go. damage like this. Problem forced to nice, jump off the nice horse. Nice iframe from Problem. Jumping off to avoid the same fate he almost ran into last time. Here we go. Here come the Frost Bats. If Ren can stall this out long enough for his teammate to show back up, it's possible that they can take this fight. And don't forget, there are more teams Game lurking. Volume. We know Absolutely. that there's more teams lurking around. I'm just waiting there's to see another, another team show right up. There. Who, who's that purple team? That was someone else. There's red. Red yep, just chilling out over there. Team. So we have at least three teams at Clive. A, one, a nice hit, though. Big hit on Pro the mace. It's just crushing skulls. Yeah, it's so strong on horseback there. It really does hit so hard. And Ren taking another red hit. This is so dangerous. Yeah, knocking, he's... Knocking him off, though. Look at the amount of damage he just took. Wow. Knocked off into it. He's also got the damage over time. Then pressuring around. He's using hit the environment perfectly. Beautiful. A one versus two here would be crazy problem trying to pick up a heal. Nice eye frame. Taking a frost bat in the back, though. Ren, you Everything has... Everything is on cooldown. Ren Stop has to switch. Look, he got the channel. He switched. He switched his abilities with combat. I was just saying that. He needs to switch to a counter. He needs to have someone to deal with this. I don't know if Ren has a crossbow, if he could use his uh, space bar he for amp heal. Back, but his gear is broken. No, he's not. He was level 16. Okay, he, so we've seen that strategy. He had his worst gear on while he ran back, and now he put his best gear set on. This is Clive. There's another the four team. Four teams are here now. Four teams at Clive, and players getting low. We're going to see some deaths. There's a third. There's another team. Five teams at Clive. This is insanity. Half Madness. of the servers here right now. Madness and stupidity as we watch Clive hanging on to a pixel volleys. of health, and there's just bombs flying everywhere. Chaos volleys Look flying that. everywhere. The player just lost a piece of their gear. Mid fight, you've got players on every side of Clive. Aura and Ren back to back throwing frost bats in both directions. Clive barely hanging on to health as the chaos volley takes him down. Problem now sitting in the background waiting for something. One brain cell sharing some damage on the Clive. Very low here. He's got to use Very those explosives low. to his advantages because he's and trapped. We know Aura is going to try to gatekeep. We've already seen them do it before. Some players just want Clive to goes down. Clive, Clive is finally is down. down. Oh, all the players are drinking. Aura is waiting. He's gonna get that Look at, two off. Yes. Problem in Endo. So smart. There's another team. There's Moose. Aura going for the kill on Endo. Knocked off his horse. We so see. Many players are there's a merciless item. Moose steals it. Moose gets the merciless item recipe right there. And Ren is super low and here. One shot. <gasps> the the dodges. Oh, the, the frostback. frostback connects. That could be it. He does get hit at the last <laughs> possible second. And Moose picks up the kill, but Aura is right behind him, and he knows he wants it. it. Could this be the end of Ren and Aura? Aura at half. Players fighting on the other side. So much PvP, another player dying there on the staircase. Here we go. <gasps> Red! Low. Two kills potentially. He does pick off one, and Problem is now left alone. Problem and his teammate were looking really dominant there, but they Going finally the get picked off. Nice oh. jump with the mace. It's not going to be enough. Good counter. The spear Red, kill! The spear oh my Picks up god! The damage, Red picking up a double kill, dominating this over at Clive, and what was just a quiet, peaceful boss kill for what was the better half of the last ten, last ten or fifteen minutes between Aura and his teammate now turns into just chaos with multiple people dying in the background. We see Admiral maybe looking to pick up the kill, thirty-eight as Admiral managed to get the merciless copper axes from the previous kill there. And look at how strong Admiral is. You do not want this fight if you're fixie, but how do you get away? If Admiral's smart about this, 
Yeah, he's got to look for it. Here for him. you got to hope he doesn't get a volley in his head. That's a miss. Oh, he missed it. The environment that Copper Axe is <gasps> The Frost kind of catches him a little bit. The AoE doesn't, doesn't do damage, though. Pixie dodge. He gets out. Oh, that might be it. That might be him getting away. Look at Admiral. Pixie stuck behind some trees here. That could be the end. A nice eye frame. All these trees really blocking out. The volley. Not enough. Pixie in a corner. That counter not going to connect. That was an opportunity, maybe, for Pixie to use that choke here point. But well, yeah, he's the escape here. Oh, good frost bat dodge. Nice return the on the volley. The chaos he's gonna he finish him off. Admiral with the double snipe. It's not often that you see both chaos volleys connect, but Fixie actually used his chaos volley at the exact same time. So because he was slowed down, Admiral had an easier shot. Uh, here we go. Look at this big fight. Here's Ren and Aura, one of the top teams. They're getting they're revenge. Up, chaos volley. Mouse was the one that killed Ren earlier, so they're getting their revenge here, but. Little do they know, right above them are Admiral and Mulk Mulk with very powerful gear. Oh, wait a minute. Here's Ren. The fight's actually happening. Admiral getting a caught big out. fight. Absolutely. Where's Mulk Mulk when you need him? Admiral at one here. Can Ren close this out? Here comes his teammate Aura as well. And Mulk Mulk, it's a big 2v2. Ren at one. It's going to be pursued. Both players the going to the lower player. One player down. Mulk Mulk. Aura on his back. Wow, the turnaround for Mulk Mulk. Is a kid. Ren is so low, a hit could do it, but Mulkmulk is super low too. Both players are one touch on the red, red, he gets the hit! Up. He's going for the res, let's see what Mulkmulk is doing. He's coming back. I don't know if he's gonna have time here, if he connects that. The first one connects. He hits it, he gets them both, but Ren's alive! He gets it at the last possible second! He is alive, and now the Pat's gonna come in and mix things up. This is super dangerous for both of them. They're gonna be forced to back off, and he is actually gonna go down there. It looks like he released from his corpse. Right next to them, you're gonna see multiple teammate back here in the next five or six seconds. Admiral's gonna, gonna be here super soon, up. yeah. These players are gonna be losing. There's their Admiral! Gear. There's Admiral. Ren very low. Ren went for the greed. He was like, Oh, I killed Admiral. Let me go get his loot. And then Admiral spawns at the way gate instantly. He's actually being, He's being corralled. Both folks in the corner. This might be the end for Ren. This is so big. The Ren wolf. gets the wolf for him. Dodges. Wait a minute. Big PvP here. This is Boo. I'm picking up a huge hit here. Boo on the spear queue. So you've got Admiral separated from Mulk Mulk. Both Oof. players are out fighting a big, uh, honestly, a good fight from Boo. Very underleveled there. Still managed to almost pick it up. Hopefully you've got Admiral saying, you know, good fight in local chat. But Quincy is open! Let's go! We have a team into Quincy. Tell me who it is. Kuro, really? Wow, what are the teams that managed to pick up Clive early? And wait a minute, there's a green horse here. That means while we were talking about that, there's another team that walked up here. Two, yeah, absolutely. This looks like two teams, but do they know that this is going to be a battle? It is going to be Bagels and Kuro, and now they're going to get into a fight with Frederick and Nate here. They realize they're trying to fight for supremacy over here for Cla for Quincy. Wait, another team showing up behind. Problem now here as well. All three of these teams we saw at Clive at different times fighting each other one time or another, but now this is going to turn into an absolute chaotic mess. The first team to call out the fact that the Bandit King is open and that these fights are happening is going to just devolve this server into complete chaos. Here we go, a big PvP fight. That's a barrier coming out as well. Big freeze from Kuro. He's not going to capitalize on it, though. We've got his teammate at one, and that's the end. Endo chopping him in half. Look at this great, oh, beautiful freeze there. Almost had it on Endo, but he countered it. A wonderful two versus two here. The third party into an almost even fight. Frederick picking up a Q, but Chaos Volleys are shattering players right now. Of course, we can see some health. The other team is way up. They're effectively using those barriers and their counters. So they've got multiple defensives. Big hits for Frederick. Nice spear Q, but it's not going to be enough. Nate at half. Big barrier into a Chaos Volley and a great counter. This is a one versus one and a one versus one at the moment. Good counter there. Frederick waiting for it. Baiting it out with a Spear Q. He's dealing about 45% damage here, but he's in a corner. On good counter. There comes his teammate. He needs help. This 2v2 is... And the Spear Q. Nate is not going to be enough. It looks like another player is coming on their back as well. So the third and fourth partying is about to happen here. Nate, one shot. This is getting really dangerous. The problem with Frederick these long... Endo one shot as well. You've got, it looks like both players are dead. Problem and Endo picking up. They need to hide, though. Kill. They need to hide, though. These players are making no progress. The battles. Here's three teams fighting once again. Dude, you the gotta be thinking. Open. 
and the blood is flowing at Quincy. You gotta be thinking that like, like Admiral and Mulk Mulk are getting just further and further ahead every second these teams waste fighting here. Admiral and Mulk Mulk are the are like the premier team to watch out for right now. This is tough. I know I know players want to get these kills, but at this point. If you've died already and you're coming back here, you're not carrying any loot with you. And Trapula the rat that was reported to the entire server saying, kill this man, is now here to rat out and get some more kills himself. He steals yeah, a horse. He's taking the horse up and that spear is going to have immense range. He's going for, oh, Fredger picking up the Q though. That is going to do so much damage off the horse. Nate, one shot. Can Trapula pick this up? Big chaos ball he's going to bring him down to his knees. That's Nate dead. But Trapula is not going to be able to capitalize. Frederick. He does gank! What a dirty play! He goes for the gank in order to ensure Frederick's teammate is dead, but I don't think Trapula's gonna be able to make it out of this alive. Ooh, Good the Q missing and the frost bat. freeze. Wait a second. Did he jump off? Yeah, he jumps off here. Oh no, he we do! Off. He jumped off, he's stuck! He jumped off, but he died as he jumped off. He got hit on the way down. Oh my god, any player who goes for that loot is gonna be stuck in the rat trap. Don't Frederick, do it, Frederick. Mike, don't do it, Frederick. Don't do Look, it! He's, he's looking, he's, he's trying to figure it out. Oh my god, the schematics in his mind, right? The the mathematics, okay, he comes back, he decides not to go for it. And now Ren has arrived, so your tournament champions from the $300 cash cup are coming out. They're in voice chat, he's diving off the cliff, so these players have really, really good map awareness, right? You have to have every aspect of verticality on lock for Quincy. The speed runs no longer work. Quincy, the most contentious fight of the tournament before Octavian. When Quincy unlocks, it's basically like a whole new game mode has unlocked because it's this giant PvP arena where you have to know the ins and outs of these fights. You have to deal with mobs constantly. You're fighting multiple teams. You gotta get, you gotta know how to jump down, find spots to heal, come back into the fight. There's so much going on in this area and it completely changes the dynamic. You know, we've seen small skirmishes break out at different bosses, but from this point forward, it's going Big to be carnage. Absolute carnage. You've also got some RNG involved, right? Some uh, some randomness with the bosses and the monsters. And the monsters are doing 120% damage. So, a Vardaron. As here comes Endo. He's getting attacked by the wolves as well. And the archers on his back. He is going to perish on Ren's. That's his gear breaking as well. We just talked about this. 33% durability is nothing to scoff at. Good barrier there from Problem. Another not kill. Enough. Aura and Ren picking up a double. Now this is what I was talking about before. Ren is 37. He's right around the same area where Mulk and uh, where Mulk, Mulk and Admiral are. So he's strong enough to just kind of come through and be the boss. He's really far ahead of everybody else. That 10 item level difference, especially because of the gear he's using, really you can feel it. So anytime these two, this team runs into somebody, it's very dangerous. Aura so spotting out another back. player. He's going to run up on Frederick, nice who just finished up the mobs. Frederick, though, dodging both of those. But he's going to get caught out. I think we're going to see him jump off the ledge. Very hard for Yeah, he jumps off the ledge. We knew that was coming. Another team is down below as well. This could be Frederick's teammate. They're going into wolf form. That is Frederick's team. There's Nate. This is another two versus two. <laughs> Actually, good dodges there. Nate as Neo. Let's see what we've got. Big hit from the horse lord. Chunking him down again. Nate already at half. You've got to get these players off the horses. Massive Q. <laughs> Nate trying to get on the horse. That was really quick. Nate used the counter to knock him off and was already holding F to jump onto the horse. But immediately responding back there, Aura gets the knockdown. And now Nate is incredibly low. Frederick being the last Beautiful one to spend him. the chaos volley. Ren melting. Despite his higher level here, he's trying to pressure the low health player, but he's got players on his back. Frederick taking a cue from the spear. Nate sending the chaos volleys. And look, the Forcing skill from the, away. the skill from the armor really came in handy right there, using their team, using that shield to protect his teammate. Ren actually was really low there, but Aura popped off the shield there. I think they're running Blood Rage as well. Yeah, see, there's Nate the one shot. There's on the, the armory horse. barrier. He's gonna try to escape. He's got to get away to heal. But now another team is in front of him. Red sneaking in back here as he is trying to rat up, but Fixie oh picks up the kill. Where Fixie did with the fix party? Where did Fixie come from? How did he get up here? All the, the while while we were watching, man, he's just sneaking up. Not allowing any other clan to progress. The Quincy gatekeeping has started, and it's gonna continue for the next couple hours. Hacker picking up so much damage. Look at the monsters devastating Aura. 
you got a horse lord waiting and watching as well. Fixie, he wants these kills. He's making a name for himself against these tournament champions, but now he's locked between Ren and Aura. Look at the damage on the Chaos Volley. Barely surviving that Q. Look at the jump. You've got the acrobatics, the plays, and the outplays. Fixie Aura clinging on to life. Fixie absolute. That Q. Another team coming behind him. That That's dodge. Teammate. There's Dr. Dexter saving his life. This is a good time to pressure with Aura at one and Ren very low. The spear almost picking him off. Great chaos volleys from Aura. These teams are playing out of their minds right now. They're cracked. This is getting very dangerous though. These, these stalkers are incredibly dangerous. Getting hit with that spear yank into a pack of mobs while you're in the middle of a fight. It's really hard to avoid while you're not paying attention because you're looking out for other things. Look, Aura gets Huge. hit with the spear the grab. Stalker, look, they can feel the power of the monsters. That's also 47%. I think, yeah, he makes the call out mid combat. We got to drink this. I need some blood. Look at all the gamers out in the world. This is three hours into the tournament and you've got players everywhere battling for supremacy. And here's Red over here hanging out as well. You've got five or six teams at Quincy. Quincy just standing firm with the shield up. He knows it's gonna be a long time before he dies. Yep, and there's Heckler jumping off, Red pursuing. I'm waiting to see if somebody actually gets corralled into the rat trap. We're getting close to the situation where people are gonna be up top here. And I think pretty soon, Players are just going to have to call a truce. Finally, Admiral and Mulk Mulk show up, and this is the team to watch out for. They are going to be the ones to dominate this if they play their cards right. That but Moose is going to fight him, though. Admiral and Mulk Mulk are massive contenders at level 37. Only Aura and Ren can challenge them. We see Chaos Volley's off screen as well below Quincy. Look at the sheer amount of teams here. This is going to be so dangerous. Hacker getting hit on both sides. He is locked in. Mulk Mulk and an Admiral showcasing their level and PvP skills, they're going to be popping off. Here we go, here's Moose. Quincy already and taking Red. a fair you bit of damage. a lot of teams who are now going for Quincy. The temporary alliances are going to result in deaths and decimation. Don't do it, Mouse. If Admiral and Mulk will get Quincy, they will be going toward the... Oh my god, oh. Mouse might be getting caught in the rat trap. Maybe with the horse, right? Maybe with the horse, he makes it out here. If he jumps down, though, he's dead. He can't push spacebar here. The horse will auto. He's dead. He's dead. He's stuck in the rat trap. You fool! You've killed yourself. Unless that's his teammate's base. I don't think so. He didn't know where to go. That's it. He's locked into the rat trap. We have our first rat trap, ladies there and gentlemen. There is no way out. I showcase this in the rat trap video. This is a beautiful tier one base. He doesn't know what to do. You cannot horse jump over these corners. This is gorgeous. Let's go back up to Quincy. That player is locked in. He's going to have to kill himself. The admins will not help you. Got to be feeling bad for Mouse right there. Your moose, Mouse. Whatever the case may be. Look at how fast Admiral is dropping Quincy. Just doing beautiful figure eights here. Quincy at one. Admiral is... We're going to see multiple teams picking this up. Quincy is dead. He gets Admiral's it. Admiral's team. Admiral's going to get it. it. Dr. Dexter's on it. Hexer is on it. Three teams are Three going to pick teams. up Quincy and go to tier two. And that is... Here comes another team. He missed out. Late. Ren missed out. Ren's team missed out. They were so Everyone close. Everyone's jumping off, but they're dodging the side with the rat trap. They're going to walk back to their house. Triumphant champions with Quincy and all of that loot. Admiral is getting There's chased. Battle. Admiral at his base, though. He gets ulted. Please, let's see this pick up. Oh, Hexer's not going to be able to pick it up. Wow, and just like that, we looked away for two seconds, and they've got a full castle set up. And you know, look at all five of these forges are running full of iron right now. Meanwhile, they're waiting to get that smithing station set up, and it's going to be chaos for every other team. And here comes our second Quincy kill right on the heels of the first. This is Ren and Aura and likely another group of players trying to gatekeep here at the last second. Where is the team with the PvP protection timer? They're not going to get it. I think they... That is one team. No way they didn't get it. He wasn't paying that attention. That is one team. Well, what was he doing? He's going to be kicking himself for that one. He comes up here and sees that and he goes, uh-oh. Oh, I misplayed this. No, Mouse isn't going to let him have it. He's throwing out the counter. Those chaos bolts just went right through him. Quincy is so low. I feel so oh, bad shot. for A-Town here if, if he, he can't get away. It's a good cue. It's not enough. No. 
No, A Town, you gotta. Oh, you wanna see some revenge here. Frat King can pick up kills on both of these players. Moose very low. His teammate very low. Gunda and Moose both at 20%. Let's see what Rackton's got. It looks like he mostly wants Quincy. That is have still at least three teams here. That feels very bad for That's heartbreaking for a Quincy on the staircase here. Three that teams. The end. That is seven teams Red. with Quincy. Red picked it up. That means one brain cell in red. The team that has the really good castle spot up in Silver Lion Mine is now in tier two. Make sure you join the Discord, guys. Discord.gg slash Eclipse Gaming, where you can join future tournaments. You can suggest things like feedback. You can donate to the prize pools if you'd like to have your voice heard about what sort of tournaments you'd like to see in the future. And keep it locked here for all future content from Eclipse Gaming for these tournaments. Thank you all for joining. We're going to let this run off, and we'll see you guys next time for another V Rising tournament and video. Take it easy, guys.